if my engine is no pre-combustion chamber, I only have the possibility to access that area removing the injector. I need to remove the injector, and after that, I need to insert a tool in that hole, a tool to connect this. For example, this, inject this injector is exactly like this. It's this. I need a tool. OK, you need a set like this with different tools with different tools, I need to identify if I have a tool with the same with the same diameter that my injector. Okay, probably this. And now you remove the injector and you need to verify if that tool entered. Oh no, no enter. It's too thick. Let me check another tool. Probably I have a I have another here. Let me check with this. You introduce the tool. Okay, that one entered, and now you need install here the adapter, the fitting to insert to insert the gauge. Okay, suppose that uh, is like this. You see, for example, this one. I introduce that one, and now I have the option to insert my tool and check the compression. Everybody, follow me, guys. Okay, pay attention. In some cases. In some cases, any of the of the tools that you have here, I have like a five or six set. And uh, for this particular engine, I don't have the adapter to enter in the hall and check the compression over there. In some cases, what I do is I destroy I destroy one injector and I install, I close Normally in the injector, this is the input of the fuel and this is the return, no? Uh, okay, I close the return and here in the input, I adapt the fitting and I open the injector and I remove the plunger, the washer, the needles, everything. And I use that one like a tool to check the compression. It's a lot of work, no? Okay, this is why if you if you need to check compression in a diesel engine, number one, verify that you have the manual, the service manual of that engine, number one. No, I don't have the manual, but if somebody said, no, my friend, if you don't have the manual, don't try, number one. Number two, try to verify how easy it is to remove those injectors. In some cases, you need a special tool, a special extractor <coughs> to remove the injector. In some cases, if you call the manufacturer, they say, okay, you can buy the tool to remove the injectors. Or, or you fabricate the tool by yourself. Okay, suppose that you have the tool and you have the adapter to introduce in the hall and check the compression. Okay? If you have all of those elements and uh, you can remove the injectors, try. If not, don't try. If you don't have experience removing injectors, don't try. Try to help to other person with experience removing injectors. Don't try to use the torch. Don't try to use uh, uh, hydraulic uh, extractor because you can destroy the injectors. In this type of engine, for example, I have I have injector here and I have glove plug here. Uh, normally. I, I, I prefer the hole of uh, the glove plug because in the hole of the glove plug, I can install my tool. This is the glove plug and this is my tool. You see, with the adapter, with the adapter to connect. Okay, I replace the, the glove plug for my tool and in that hole, I insert my, my it's, it's, less, it's less difficult because I don't need to remove the injectors, you know? Remove the injectors is difficult. I love it when the engine is with pre-combustion because I prefer in the hole of the glove plugs, I remove the glove plug and I have a lot of uh, uh, fittings to insert over there and connect my gauge. You need to prepare service manual, you need to prepare uh, the adapter and the tool to remove the injector and never try to say, ah, give me for uh, the compression test $500. <laughs> how much? $80 for me, $40 for my helper. I don't know how many hours I spent doing that. 
because you don't know. In some cases, you spend one day removing one injector, and it's, it's hard for you. Okay, good? And check the compression. After that, it's, it's, it's nice. Uh, what is the recommendation? Remove all the injectors or remove all the glove plugs. Suppose that I am checking compression in a, in a head like this with four cylinders. Uh, how much is normally uh, the compression in a typical diesel engine? Over 400. Over 400 no? Depending on the manufacturer, this engine should be 500 or this one 700, or, yeah? but it's over 400. But uh, the key word is 400. If you have compression less than 400 in one cylinder, it's, it's exactly like in gasoline. No? You remember what is the key number in a, the magic number in gasoline? Below, below, uh, below 90, 90 yeah. below 90, 90 it is an indication that that cylinder is with bad compression in gasoline. In gasoline, remember that uh, I have a gasoline engine with low compression in all the cylinders, and the engine is running, of course, with a low efficient, low power, but it's running because the explosion is produced with a spark. Oh, now with compression. Okay, in diesel engines, according with my experience, if I have a, a, an engine like this with four cylinders and you have low compression, in two of them, no start. No, but I have two, yes. Probably a start, but uh, with a, a little load, ba -ba 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 -ba, go down. Okay? Uh, the diesel engine is more critical with respect to the compression. Okay, let me check the compression. I check the compression in this one. I have 450 here, 320, 470, and 450. I have low compression in one cylinder, only one cylinder. I need isolate the problem. Possibilities for low compression. Basically, basically, there are two possibilities. One possibility on the piston ring, yeah. and on other the one on the, oh, on the valves, yeah. on the valves. That's it. Ah, of course, there are other ones that the head is cracked, right. that they, ah, so yeah. Right. But uh, it's supposed that the engine is running, it's good. I want to know the compression. Ah, I have low compression in the second one. The other ones are okay. How can I know if it's on the valves or if it's on the rings? You said you can test Okay, in the hole, I removed the injector or uh, the spark or uh, the glove plug. I added a little amount of oil. motor yes, oil. Fresh motor oil, Rotella, valvo line, whatever. Motor oil, a little. It's a little amount. And I introduced again my, my tester. And I check compression again. Oh. Right now, boom, 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 440. That's your rings. What is the, the, the problem? On the valves or on the piston rings? rings? On the piston rings, because create a seal on the head of the piston, and now the compression increase. Anybody follow me? Oh, that's great. Ah, I have problem on the piston ring. Or I added the oil, I crank it again, and the compression continue 320. The valves don't close properly for some reason. Is problem on the valves. Good, papas? All right, pay attention. I am checking the compression and I have low compression in two adjacent cylinders. Two adjacent. Head gasket, and the head gasket is? Low. Head gasket. Oh, I have low compression in the entire engine, in all the cylinder, low compression. Sorry, my friend, you need to rebuild the engine. 